What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning back into my channel. This is Chit Chat with Brit Brat, and guys, we're here yet with another story time. I got my wine in my glass. I'm prepared this time. Thank goodness, because y'all know I'm not ever prepared. And um, got my Tony Braxton blasting in the back. Hopefully, it's not too loud. So, we'll see. Okay, so today's story time. I was thinking between like two stories. See, all right, so I have a story time one of them is a bit graphic and so i think i should consult with some people before i just tell it because it may be a little nah that ain't for you too or at least not yet like you feel what i'm saying i should wait a little bit before i drop that load on y'all y'all might be like what lose my followers come on y'all i'm only at 48 come on let's I don't want to start your OCA away too soon. So I think I'm going to hold down the graphic story time first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> also, guys, if you like my hair, got my little curls going. Um, I switched up my gel. And um, something I just wanted to try it. Olive, I hate olive oil products. Let's start with that first. I just, for some reason, the way it gets my hair, it just doesn't. Like olive oil, I guess, is supposed to be like urban y, I guess, for like African Americans. And um, I'm not sure, but I just, I'm not a fan of the product. So when I seen it, it was on some, let me just grab it real quick. You know, that's the only thing I need. I know I needed some type of gel. But you know what? I take it back because I really like it. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. But um, and then I also use my, I guess, it's a coil brush. I've seen them bigger and I've seen them smaller. I just needed the small because I wanted to like travel with it. I don't want the big one and take up a bunch of space or whatever. So I just wet my hands like I'm about to wash it and I like get it a little bit wet. And then I take this good portion, you know, nothing crazy. And I just make sure I definitely get my edges and I make sure I get like where the most hair is. And I try to make sure it's all throughout, like lathered throughout the head. And then I go in and then I coil it with the brush or whatnot. And you move it in like a circular motion i know i get over here when i get over here just that type of thing and then i come over here with a different and i just make sure the curls are all getting curls and moving and so that you can see it and um i get a lot of compliments on it and it's like i like to walk with at least a picture because trying to explain what type of brush it is where to get the brush it's a lot you know sometimes like they really sit there wait for me to google it or whatnot so which is fine because i you know if i could put you on to something i don't mind putting on everybody could eat people don't be remembering that Okay, sorry. And um, that's about it. A lot of people have been asking about that, so I figured let me just if you come across the video and whatnot. But yes, today at work, I've had a long day at work. All the computers were down for like hours of the day. Like it didn't start getting back up until like lunchtime, a little bit after lunch. And it's like to the point where they were like, oh, you could just take lunch. Like, but what if I want to take lunch now? You forced me to take lunch because your computers is not working. But that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, and today was the first day that I took a nap at work. Like, I know. <laughs> okay, now, it'll be some time where I'm dozing. That's different than sitting there like, all right, I'm going to take a nap because I'm so tired. I, I was so tired for doing nothing, which is crazy because I was doing, like, absolutely nothing while the computer was down. If you don't have anything to do, most everything is on the computer. It's like, what you going to do? So, I took a nap at work, which is not me, but I was tired. I don't know. But like I said, I did nothing to be tired. So, hey. Or maybe I went to bed late. That's probably what it was. Um, oh yes, and I'm also going to be sure to, um, record this weekend because I'll be in Florida. Okay, so guys, I did a video on my mom when, um, she had her wedding, um, at City Hall. And, um, listen, we came, pulled up in limousine as if it was, like, at a venue and whatnot. We had a nice reception, which was beautiful, and I made a video for that. But, um, the actual wedding and ceremony part we're gonna have on a beach in florida so i'm definitely gonna cover that and i'm gonna make sure i get everything we're leaving thursday um yeah and so it's gonna be cool and um i'm just excited for that so stay tuned for that video i don't know how long it's gonna take me to edit that video one thing i hate editing video if there's an easy way to edit videos people who make youtube videos please reach out and let me know because I be stressed, upset. It takes forever. Like, it's just so annoying, but it is what it is. Um, so, that's that. So, I'm going to be sure to make sure that I 
upload the videos keep you guys posted um yeah just don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for tuning back in once again i'm chit chat with brit brat or i'm brit brat and we're gonna chit chat whatever works for you i just want you to remember me as that and um stay tuned <laughs> okay so this story time is about the time that okay so we were play fighting in the cafeteria and I slipped and I fell on milk and I tore a muscle in my knee. Okay, so this story time was about the time that I was being the normal Brittany clumsy, but this time, like I really did, I slipped on milk, tore a muscle in my knee. I was jacked up for a little minute after that. I was on crutches, worst pain ever. I'm pretty sure there's pain worse than that, but like I've never really experienced that, you know what I'm saying? And that was the first time in my life that I really evaluated on being a heavy set person, like a plus size, big, beautiful, voluptuous person, you know? Um yes, okay, so rewind. Alright, so in high school, um we used to always play fight. Um, shout out to FDA 6, Frederick Douglass Academy 6, located in Far Rockaway High School in Far Rockaway, Queens, New York. You already know. Um, third graduating class, what's the year? Graduate 2010, eight. Oh, Lord. I think it was 10. Oh, boy. In 2010, do you know what I said? Man, I had to sit here and think. All right, but listen, I'm old. Whatever. But anyway, so, um, my best friend and I, we used to always play fight. Um, <laughs> we used to always like play fight, whether it was like play fighting or like play fighting with lotion or just fighting with lotion, like, just play fighting, like you just never know. And sometimes we'll be against like other best friends or we like, um, guy, but boys, you know, the whole we used to just play fight, like we were just really cool with everybody. We never really had beef, we never really had beef. I'm not even gonna say that we didn't have beef. Um, everything was all love, at least when it came to us. And, um, yeah, shout out to all you guys. Everybody we went to school with, listen, love you. But, um, we were play fighting. Yo, listen, we play fight with so many people. I don't even remember this situation or who we was play fighting with, because I would definitely shout you out. But I remember we were play fighting upstairs on our floor. We play fight. When we get to the cafeteria, we play fight. You know, it just always, now I'm going, if it wasn't us making beats and rapping, I'm pretty sure everybody made beats and rap in high school, in the lunchroom, or whatever, cutting ass, making jokes, playing cards, and all that other stuff, whatever the case may be. So, our high school was just on one floor. Yeah, it was just on one floor. Um, we didn't have like a bunch of floors because we were such a little school. We was the only third graduating class. So, just imagine, like, but Rockaway High School had basically the whole school or whatnot. We just had one floor. Um, so I do we have yeah, I think we had lunch one time or whatever. So we're play fine upstairs in the classroom, play fine, which you know we had no business doing because you're supposed to be getting your life together, learning and stuff like that. But of course this wasn't during class time, like come on, I wasn't that bold. But yeah, anytime we got a chance to play fight with okay, whatever the case. So this day in particular, we're play fighting upstairs, whatever. So it travels all the way downstairs. We're still play fighting, whatever, like slap boxing and all that other stuff, whatever the case may be. So I don't even know what point or what, but all I know is that I fell. And when I fell, I felt a sharp, like, snap. Man, that pain was serious, okay? I couldn't get up or whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, they want to call in an ambulance or whatnot because I really, like, could not walk or whatnot. So, I'm there, whatever, so the ambulance come. Now, I'm going to try to get a picture to try to get a picture of the inside of, like, the school when you come in. There's, like, three steps, like, one, two, three, before you walk in and then, like, you're inside of the high school. You got to go through double doors and then you're inside of the high school. I'm pretty sure a lot of high schools are like that, so I'm just going to try to get a picture to show you, but... Ambulance wind up coming or whatnot. Everybody leaves for lunch because, you know, this kind of took up a long time or whatever the case may be. So my best friend, my right hand, she was there with me the whole time or whatnot. And um, to the point, I, I guess until like, you know, until they say, okay, you guys, you gotta go, whatever. So um, ambulance came or whatnot. They were asking what was wrong, whatever. And like I said, at first I didn't think it was that serious, but when I really felt the pain, I was like, nah, this is not right. Like something just wasn't right. I just knew I could not walk. I couldn't put no type of pressure, no nothing. So they had to put me on a little gurney thing. I don't even know what it's called. The little, I don't want to say a stretcher. Whoa, because it definitely wasn't dead. But like the little thing thing, whatever. So, um, oh, before we did that, they put me in a wheelchair or some type of something to bring me through. 
when I tell you I was crying, I was crying. Like, yes, the pain was serious, but I was crying more so because I was embarrassed. Like, oh my God, like, oh. First of all, you already know, I ever, I don't like to weak or any type of something like that, whatever the case may be, nah, that's not me. So, and I never ever be liking to show my emotions. But sometimes when the pressure's too thick, man, I will bust out crying just for the fact of me being embarrassed or me being like, you know what I mean? So, I'm like crying because I'm embarrassed now. Like, they got to wheel me from where I fell on the other side of the cafeteria, through the double doors, to the elevator. Everybody's like, Brittany, you okay? Yo, you know if, like, you're trying to get your life, you're crying, whatever case you mean, and somebody's like, oh, you okay? That makes it worse. You start crying all over again. And then it's like, oh, Brittany's so bubbly. She's never upset. So the fact that she's upset, what's going on, Brittany? You okay? You okay? And I know everybody was concerned, but I was just like, oh, my God, they see me look crazy. They see me crying. I'm looking weak. So my best friend is like, B, you're a fine. You're fine, okay? Shout out to Janelle. I love you to death. You already know. You're fine. Get it together. Stop crying. You're fine. They're going to take you, whatever. I'm going to call your mom when I get upstairs. Everything's going to be fine. Relax or whatever. So I'm like, okay. But still, like, they're going to see me look stupid. So, okay. So, like I said, I was being all dramatic and all worked up, all emotional from that. I didn't even think about when I get to the front of the building and they have to go down the three little steps. How am I going to get down the steps? Because I cannot walk. It was like. No question asked, I wasn't walking on it. I could not walk on it. Like, even if I thought or tried, it just wasn't happening. Happen. No, it just wasn't going to happen. So, and I'm scared of heights. Okay, so guys, heights, so some people are like hanging in the sky. You're on a string all the way up there. You can fall and die, whatever case. Heights to me is if my feet is not on the ground. You feel me? So, like, I, if I'm sitting on this chair, that's heights. And I'm terrified as if I'm up in the sky. So, like. Imagine somebody trying to lift you up without you. I guess they put me like on the thing so that they could lift me up. And they do some big strong men, you know, because I was, you know, a little happy. So, first of all, no. You're not going to lift me up. And then I go falling again. And then I look crazy again. So, I was like having a heart attack. So, they was like, but Miss Jackson, we got to make sure that we bring you down. How else are you going to get to the ambulance if we don't? I'm like, but I. I can't, I, you, you can't, like, oh, acting like an old lady. Mind you, I'm in high school with all of this nonsense, and they could have had better things to do than be sitting there with me playing because I didn't want to go down the three little steps. So I'm like, no, 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 holding on to stuff. Like, you can't, like, no, like, no, no, you can't. Like, I'm not with it. Like, I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't know what, if I got to roll down the steps, but I just, honestly, right now, I cannot, you cannot. And it was like, listen, we're going to pick you up and... You gonna what? And listen, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. What do you mean you gonna pay me? I can't. You cannot pay me. We, how are you gonna get in a so Like, they were getting upset with me, but I'm getting upset with them. Like, what you mean? You about to pick me up. We don't got no time for that. Then next thing you know, I go falling and dying. Like, no. So, after all the chatting and stuff, they finally get me, like, to, all right, all right. So, I hold my breath. Like, all right, just tell me about it. Because I'm telling you, if they would have dropped me, they would have seen a whole other side. And everybody, all the school safety officers always know me as being bubbly and happy and never, whatever. whatever. Real talk, it would have been on the popping. Because we're not, no. Because I told you I was going to drop me. Then you drop. So, I was just ready for that. Like I said, I finally held my breath and just they took me down to one two three little steps that it was not that serious now that i'm thinking about it but that's not the point <sighs> so yeah so i let them take me so we go in the, um a, a teacher had to come with me just because like i was in high school and i was like a minor so one of the teachers wanted to come with me call my mom and my mom came my stepdad came and whatnot and yeah we found out that i had sore muscle in my knee and um it was actually called the meniscus how do i remember that i don't even know oh you know what we made up a song so i can remember because i could not remember like my little cousins we were trying to figure out something something we had tore a, in the left knee a meniscus yet yeah, who knows i don't i don't know but that's the song we made just so i could remember and that's crazy after telling the story i didn't even remember the name of the thing the whole time and it just came to me a meniscus yeah so i tore a meniscus um a muscle on my my left knee guys like i said that pain was like serious real serious um and i was jacked up for a while after that like weeks i couldn't even mind you my room at the time when i was in high school was in the attic like um 
yes, all the way at the top of the house. So I had to go up the stairs. I couldn't go up the stairs. I wasn't up the stairs the whole time that I had to stay home from school. That was boring. You know, you watch everything under the sun or whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, listen, I was jacked up. I couldn't even use the bathroom properly because, you know, you have to bend your knees to go to the bathroom. So just imagine, don't have the time. Like, And thank goodness, like, we had two bathrooms in our house at the time. So it was a bathroom already downstairs and then it was a bathroom upstairs or whatever the case. So thank goodness for that because imagine I couldn't do that. I, when I tell you stairs, I could not walk up the stairs. Like, nothing. On the crutches, it was just, like, the worst pain ever because... You know, even if you accidentally put a little pressure, it was bad or whatnot. So, that was that. Trying to get my life together after that was crazy. Um, but, yes, I say all of that to say I'm extra dramatic. I almost passed out. The the ambulance people were so through me. Like, at the beginning, they, were, they thought I was like, oh, this is okay. it's okay. Just trying to be nice. And by the end of the conversation, it was like, Miss Jackson, how else are you going to get to the ambulance? You not even, it's three steps. It's three steps. And I was like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's something y'all got to figure out. But if you want me to roll, maybe I could roll on. I said, yo, they were just too through with me. Like, extra dramatic for no reason. If you know me, you already knew I'm dramatic. You already knew I'm anim animated. So they trying to be serious. I'm over here making jokes because I just really wanted them to know if I fall, it's going to be, like, an issue. And then after all of that, the school was contacting my mom to make sure, like, she wasn't going to sue or whatever. Because, yes, I was play fighting, but, bro, it was dead milk on the floor. Like, I did not just. And then, crazy thing, I had the milk stain on my pants. So, it wasn't like I was lying or whatnot. And so, yeah, they would call and talk to my mom, like, you know, I just wanted to make sure everything was okay or whatever. My mom was just like, and I was like, listen, I'm just trying to put this past me. Like, it was already embarrassing that I fell. It was already embarrassing that I couldn't walk out there. It was already embarrassing they had to take me out in an ambulance. Like, just let it go. Let it go. Just, mom, let's just let it go, please. So, yeah, it was just crazy or whatever. But that story time was like a... <laughs> But all those fails, I'm back. When I came back, oh, you know, and then, like, I did want to visit in the school. Because I was, I was home so many days, like, weeks that I was just, like, you would have thought it was broken. But I had to get back regular. I wasn't about to go back halfway. No. Um, I did have to walk with crutches for a little while. And then, like, I was so, like, upset about the crutches thing. I was there walking with one crutch, like, if I didn't need the other one. But you know me. I don't want to. I'm strong, okay? I cannot be seen as weak or nothing like that because I'm not weak. It's bad enough just because you plus size, you can't do half the shit when really, uh, oh, it can happen. If you like the glow, oh, I don't even have, do I have it? Yes, this glow is real, y'all. I should have been picture on to the glow. Damn, too much to find it right now. My bad, I should have had it ready. But um, yeah, my, my glow is serious today. But yes, guys, I hope you like. Stay tuned for the next video. Like I said, um, yes, happy, what's today? Tuesday? Happy Tuesday. Be blessed. Mwah. Until next time, guys. Later.